from the global resources of Veterans Media Services. Nationwide, there are over 200,000 homeless vets in America, and 1.5 million of those veterans have incomes below the federal poverty line. In Wisconsin, the Milwaukee Veterans Stand Down attempts to tackle this problem by providing essential services to veterans in need. Okay. Uh, joining me today is Greg Jacobs, president of the Milwaukee Veterans Stand Down. Uh, Greg, 200,000 homeless vets uh, and 1.5 million uh, vets that are below the poverty, uh, federal poverty uh, line. Those numbers are huge. Yes, they are. Uh, those are the national uh, statistics, though, coming from the shelter programs and the uh, homeless service providers across the nation. First of all, I want to explain it a little bit about Stand Down. Stand Down really is not a program per se. What we are is an umbrella of uh, situation where under one roof we gather together all the service providers we think could give a positive impact to the lives of uh, our particular targeted population which is the homeless and at risk of being homeless veterans. So what we've got is a gambit of services everything from uh, housing to haircuts to barbers to dental work to eyeglasses to meals to uh, legal issues uh, Working, working with uh, the court systems, uh, we, we've got a judge on duty, an actual judge that uh, provides services and uh, is able to alleviate uh, fines. Wisconsin, and, uh, we're looking at, they estimate that there's approximately 8,000 veterans at any given time that are without substantial height. We see a difference in the ages of the veterans. We see a difference in uh, family structures a lot of times. Right now with the, the young veterans coming back from Iraq, Afghanistan, and other parts of the world, uh, they're more family orientated than veterans were in some of the other war periods. Uh, we had a tendency to have a, a younger veteran population that coming back from combat or from war situations. Now a combination of our economic crisis that's going on and uh, the hopelessness or homelessness of a lot of people that never anticipated it before, um, it's, it's been quite a bit different. And the nature of the serviceman that's going overseas right now and serving a tour of duty is older than they used to be. They've already got established families. There's more reservists and guardsmen and so forth that are going into uh, foreign service or just domestic service to fill cadre positions that are uh, displaced by mm -hmm. individuals going overseas. So their families are bounced around. Oh, veterans yeah. may that find themselves homeless because of a, a split of a relationship at home or it could be just a lack of a job or loss of jobs. Uh, when I'm going to make a, a kind of a strange so suggestion forth. and that is that if you see somebody that is wearing uh, what appears to be uh, significant uh, uniform pieces or so forth, or is kind of looking like an, a veteran and you feel that they're in need, they may be uh, trying to solicit funds or something, rather than give them money, get them hooked up with their county veteran service office. You've got a county veteran service office in every county in the United States, and they can help them get into programs that can change their lives. That's what we try and introduce them to here, but these are programs that are available not just twice a year as we run stand downs, but uh, every day of the year. And uh, if we can direct them, or better yet, take them to the VA or the County Veteran Service Officer and make sure that they get the services that they need, uh, a lot of people are reluctant to right. even apply. Uh, thank you very much uh, for inviting uh, our news cameras to the stand down uh, today, Greg. Well, Dave, it's always a pleasure. All right. Thank you. Thank Let's you. take a look at some of the veterans' organizations uh, that are here today. Dennis Kaczynski, I work for the Wisconsin Department of Veterans Affairs, and our mission is for the homeless veterans. I'm Arlene Haston. I'm a nurse practitioner at the VA here in Milwaukee. My job is registry coordinator for veterans who served in Vietnam and the Persian Gulf since 1990. 
registry is your opportunity to provide information for your study. Uh, this is Royal, Annie Royal, and I work, work for MATC, and it's our thrill every year to come twice a year and help these veterans who give their service to the country, and we are delighted. Some of the students that came today uh, do not, they're finished school. They have completed their program, but they came last year and they want to come back and they say, make sure you let me know when the next stand down is. That thrills me. And even though uh, you, you think, you know they have to work, but I am so pleased with these young people that give up their time. And what they have learned that's so important is that you cannot earn all the money and sometimes you've got to give back to society something more than just uh, working in a salon making money. These guys have learned a grand lesson that you give more than you receive. And it really does make you happy. Uh, it's fantastic what they do. And I'm so thrilled every time I come to do this because these young people sacrifice their time. We had some here before I came this morning at 8.30. The students were already here. And uh, if you don't learn anything more than that in life, you cannot take away and don't put something down. Hello, my name is Dan Lukowski, the American Legion Veteran Service Office for the, for the Department of Wisconsin, American Legion. Uh, my office provides assistance with, for veterans and their dependents and families in obtaining their earned benefits to the VA. I'm Shepard. I'm with Milwaukee's Women's Post 448 of the American Legion. I am the uh, commander of our Legion Post. I have with me... I'm Jenny Roach. I'm the vice commander at the Post. Um, and we are the one of the only women's posts in the state of Wisconsin. Our focus is serving the women of, in service and women veterans. and. Um, providing information so that they know what benefits and services are available to them. Dave Riba, Veterans Newsline, Milwaukee.